Okay, so in this video, what I wanna do is I wanna show you how to use everyday ideas, how to come up with products. You don't have to just go and sign up for any of these different programs and spend all these different money out there. You can come up with everyday things that you're using in your everyday life, and then just jump on to Amazon, validate if it's good enough, and then in addition to that, I'm gonna then run through the numbers to see if it's something you should jump into or not. Watch this video. What Logan does is help people take great ideas and execute on them. You've probably heard me say in other videos before, I do have kids. I have a five-year-old and I have a three-year-old, which is what made me get started in this whole industry before because I was working a sales job nine to five, hustling nonstop, and then I kept trying to think of outside ideas, create something more than what I had to do the 95, and I can start living my life uh, and my wife can quit her job. Uh, but that's for another story, another time. But what I wanna get into is the fact that I have a five-year-old and she's about to lose one of her tooths. So I was trying to think of what can we do creative because my parents used to just put money under the pillow and I thought of uh, what if it was a tooth fairy pillow. And it turns out there is, but it's still a good industry to get into. So what I wanna share with you now is we're gonna dive into Amazon. We're gonna look at tooth fairy pillows. We're gonna validate, is it something to hop into? Is it something you shouldn't hop into? Is it too big of a niche already? And then we're gonna review some of the other sellers on there. Then we'll hop on Alibaba. We'll look for different vendors on there to buy the product and bring it in. And then we'll start to run the numbers. We'll start to see, okay, what is, what is the, the cost that Amazon's charging? What is the cost that the, that the manufacturer's charging? And what is our profit gonna be on a monthly, annual basis? So let's hop in that now. I'm gonna bring it to my screen. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so we're on Amazon here. Uh, on the upper left-hand side, I'm gonna go ahead and type in Tooth Fairy Pillow. All right, and as you can see, notice how as I'm typing it in, it's already populating. That means that people are actually searching that on Amazon. And you can see other popular terms that people are searching as well, and Amazon knows everything about everyone that's on their platform because it is their platform. Uh, as you can see, I'm logged in the upper right-hand side, so they're keeping track of what I'm typing in as well. So they know that automatically. Let's just go back to Tooth Fairy Pillows. Okay, and then you can see here at the top, see this right here? These are sponsored ads. Sponsored ad, sponsored ad, sponsored ad. All right, the rest of these are not, right? These are our third-party vendors on Amazon. This is not Amazon selling them. You will find sometimes that Amazon is selling the products on Amazon, but it, Amazon is primarily built for people to sell products on their platform. So some of the people out there think that when they're buying a product from Amazon, they're actually buying it from Amazon as that they're the actual vendors, but it's third-party sellers like you're soon to be or you currently are now and like I am. So let's look at what the products we have here for Tooth Fairy, all right? Here we have 532, 284. These are also sponsored ads. So now you have the natural ranking uh, on the listing, which is pretty good. So you can see here, you have 20, 20 reviews on something that's, that's number three. But then you have 532, uh, 225, 46, 33, uh, 284, 27. So that shows that it's still young enough to get into. It's still young enough to where you can hop into it. And as this niche builds and, and these reviews start getting into the thousands, which they eventually will, then other people, like yourself and, and myself as well, would look at it and be like, ah, a little too risky. I'm not gonna hop in that because the reviews are way too high. I want you to keep in mind, we're in COVID right now, so we're gonna go into a baby boom. As we go into the baby boom, as the years are building on, you're building your niche into this. If you hop into this one here, you're gonna block out anybody else coming into it, and that baby boom, everyone's teeth are gonna fall out. So this could be a booming niche in the future, all right? But we validated here one that it's enough room to get into it, all right? We we'll wanna see one more thing. Let's go over to, uh, I use Merchant Words, and when we're in Merchant Words, so Tooth Fairy Pillow. Here we go. So now we can see in here that there's 8,200 searches a month. It's evergreen, so it's done all year round. It's not like it's a summer thing or a winter thing. People see they're falling out all year round. People see they're falling out globally. 
here. So you can see that there's multiple variations of, of people that are searching for it. So you're not gonna just rely on just uh, one key term, which is great because as you're building out your listing, you're gonna use these terms in your bullet points, in your, in your title, in your description, and then your back end key terms so that you can go ahead and start to rank on Amazon quicker. All right, so now we validated that reviews are low. We validated that the search terms are there, so and it's evergreen, so it's something you can consistently be in searching. As well, as I think I kind of validated that this is gonna be a growing industry because of COVID, people are staying home, people are multiplying, you know what I'm saying? But I think it's gonna be a growing industry. I think it's already something you can hop into now. But let's see if people are actually making money in it. So there's multiple applications. I'm gonna pop up three different ones now that you can take a look at and see how they vary but nothing's 100% exact. But let's take a look at the first one. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's check out Jungle Scout and just get an idea of what's going on for sales here. All right, and as I'm doing that, I'm also gonna open up two other ones. We open up Zanguru, and then I'll also open up Helium. All right, so we have Helium, Zanguru, and Jungle Scout. So we're, we're looking here and the two ferry here is doing 16,763. Here they're saying they're doing 20,510. And here they're saying they're doing 14,594. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say pick the middle one, which is gonna be helium on this one. All right, this one here, this one's got 1854 a month. And then over here, Lily again, 2000. And then over here, 1989. So again, I'm gonna say we're gonna pick the middle out of that one over here. Let's just scroll through, see what people are making money on here. So here, this has got uh, $6,100, 5,200 bucks, 5,200 bucks, 2,200 bucks, 5,100 bucks. So people are making money in this. Again, this is not gonna be your home run. Take one listing, I'm gonna make $50,000 a month. This is gonna be one that you're gonna just add to your toolbox of performing products because it, it could be stable. Actually, it is stable because it's evergreen, all right? And if you if you make a good product and you do a good job in your listing, this is something you're just gonna put in, you're gonna plug it and keep going. Let's see if we can, now let's go to Alibaba and we're gonna type in Tooth Fairy. Tooth Fairy Pillow. This looks familiar. Okay, this is $1.65. I could have swore this was over here. It is, here we go. So this same one right here, they literally just took it, repackaged it, and put it out there, okay? So, and it's $10.99. And they're doing $7,400 a month. 7,400 bucks a month. Let's see what Helium says. This says 5,200 bucks. So we're not, gonna, we're not gonna use this one, we're gonna go off what Helium says on this one. Just to play safe, you always wanna make sure you're playing safe with your numbers. If you come out with 7,400 bucks, awesome, good for you. But let's just say it's 5,200 bucks, all right? And this one's getting 474 sales a month. Let's see what they were selling it for. So looking at $1.65, $1.65. So let's print up uh, Amazon's calculator. All right, right here, click on that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to Amazon. Let's cross this out and scroll to the bottom. We're gonna take the ASIN. Right here, see it says ASIN. That is the product social security number, essentially I like to call it. And we're gonna to paste, put that in. And search. Okay, so now we have the product up here. All right, they're selling it for $10.99. We're just gonna use this for a comparison. I think that, that that product is made very cheaply. I think that you can do a better job with it. I don't think that they're doing a very good job on that. All right. Okay, so they're charging $1.65. Amazon wants $1.65 for using the platform. And then Amazon wants $3.31 to fulfill the product. Okay, so now we get the numbers from each section of the platforms, such as Amazon's charges, manufacturer charge on Alibaba, and what we should be selling the product for. I'm gonna bring over a quick cheat sheet, Excel sheet that I made. It is not the, the end all figure it out, but it is something that will basically quickly let you determine if this is something you jump into or something you shouldn't jump into. And then after that, then you can dive in deeper 
with fulfillment costs and importing costs and all those additional things that'll come out of this. All right, so let's go ahead, I'll bring this over. First things first, we decided we're gonna sell it for $10.99 because that's what the other competitor was selling it for. It doesn't mean that you're gonna be selling it for that. I honestly, I think that that was a cheaply made product. I think you can become innovative with it and go out there and find some of the designs, have an artist recreate it, such as going to fiverr.com or freelancer.com, take your ideas. I will come up with five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 different things, images online, pick out what you like best about them, think about the shape of it, then have an artist recreate it after they recreate it and you pay them. Once that transaction takes place, you now own that IP. I would then take that IP and I would bring it back and I would either, if you think it's really something big, I would patent it, which you can do a design patent on it. And then I would also go ahead and I would copyright it so that no one else can take that image from you. But anyways, back to this, it's gonna sell for 1099. And when we put it into Amazon, their calculator, they said they wanted $1.65 for their services, $3.31 for their fulfillment. So here on here, I put $1.65. I put the, the teal color for Amazon charges and then $3.31 for fulfillment. All right, and then the manufacturer wanted $1.65 to make it. $1.65 to make it, okay? This will quickly spit out a number for you so you can determine if this is something you hop into or not. So if you look at here, I have the two colors is what Amazon charges are. The green colors means that these are something that you can change yourself. And in, for instance, returns. Now I put roughly a 2% return. Who knows, you could hop into an industry that's not this one and maybe so you go to inflatables. Inflatables have a higher return percentage because things pop and heat and cool and storage might damage the product. So returns can change a little bit, all right? So I just put 2%, that's kind of industry average. Uh, like I said, unless you're changing the industries. Then you have an import charge. Roughly it's 30 cents. Uh, I mean, it could fluctuate down a little bit. It could fluctuate a lot higher, depending on if you're going to be airing it in or by, by boat. So that stuff will change. The product cost, which is $1.65, which is right here. Then you have junk fees. I always advise putting a junk fee in there just because as you start to build more and more and more products and you start getting to 20, 30, 40, 50, this 1% might not seem like a lot of one product, but as you start to build it up, it will become a lot. And then next thing you know, it's paying for your office, it's paying for those other things so that it's not coming out of your profit margin. This will be a straight, true profit. All right, you don't have to put that there. I put it there. 15%, 15% is kind of average. Depends on where your profit margins are at. 20% is a little bit higher. You will probably get more aggressive with it, but you know, it, it really depends on what it is. I mean, if you can get down to 10%, that's phenomenal. But either way, I put 15% is kind of a middle number here. Then you have your profit right here, which is $2.10, all right? Next, I'll put a green here for this one as well, all right? So green would then be how many units, all right? So let's go back over to here and Let's see how many units they were doing. So this one right here, which is a squash flat, and we're using that just as a reference because they were doing uh, decent numbers, 5,400, all right? And they were doing 493 a month, okay? So 493 units a month is what they're selling at. If you were to, let's say, do the same volume, 493. Okay, you'd be doing, off that one product alone, you'd be doing, um, $1,000 a month profit. I think that's a little a little aggressive to say you're gonna do the same volume. Again, I wanna play conservative on this as your first product coming out. I think that this one is not that good of a product design-wise and, and appealing-wise. I think there's other products that you can make better in the Tooth Fairy Pillow niche. I think this is a, a niche you can definitely jump in and probably explode it if you have a great idea. But let's just say we jump that down to 300. So 300 units per month you were to sell. Your profit would be 630 per month. Your yearly profit for this one product, singular product alone, would be uh, 7,566. Now we're getting these numbers from this right here. And then we're times it by this to get this, and then times it by this times 12 to get this here. All right, and then over here on the right-hand side, just to give you an idea of the future, what it can look like if you keep this same method, if you keep the same approach and you just 
repeat, repeat, repeat. This number right here on the left-hand side, $630 per month profit, it might seem low, but if you had a time to buy five products, times 10 products, times 20 products, and it's not crazy to say you're gonna get 20 products, this is very well possible. And it's also very well possible that these products will turn into larger profit margins. Some of these products you're gonna find out there, you can get a larger profit margin on them, some will get smaller, but you know, still pick them up. If it's got enough room to get into it, pick it up and just keep adding it to your pile, right? But let's see, let me just bring this back over here. If you did the 493 per month in sales volume, bring it back over here and you had 20 products, your profit would be $248,000. Numbers don't lie. I mean, I'm doing the numbers right here in front of you. The numbers do not lie. This is very well possible. It's just taking the time to sit here and pick each product. And I'm gonna do that every week for you. I'm gonna do it on Sunday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. If you like what you're seeing here now, and, and you wanna learn how to do more innovative things like this, join my group of like-minded individuals like yourself and myself. It's called FBA Innovators. There's a direct link below, sign up for that. As well as if you wanna see more videos like this and be the first person to see when I'm putting a new product out three times a week, then subscribe to this channel, hit the bell button so that you'll be alerted as soon as it comes out. In addition to that, I'm also giving out a free cheat sheet, all right? And it's gonna go over how to do private labeling, how to do patents and trademarks. All very important things if you wanna learn how to be innovative in this industry. Now, I'm a firm believer of always keep learning, keep learning, keep learning. Even when you start getting to the 20 product range and you're like, oh, I'm making $248,000 a year, profit, not gross, don't stop learning. Even when you start making a lot of money, keep learning, keep learning. I don't have to be the only channel you watch. I would say watch everyone. Become an information overload. Learn everything you can learn in the industry. And even when you feel like you know it all, keep learning. Don't stop learning. There's a lot of people out there that are doing very well and they want to share this information for free. So go ahead, check them out as well. Come back here, share your ideas as well. And if there's a video you want to see that you're being stumped on, hey, look, I really want to learn how to do this or I have a product I want to have you review, let me know. Leave a comment below on what you want me to do. I'll make another video for you, all right? Until then, let's keep learning, crushing it, and making money. That's what it's all about. Great ideas married with executional skills, and that's what Logan John is all about.